Hello, today you will learn how to loop a part of video in DaVinci Resolve or how to loop a section of video in DaVinci Resolve. So let's get started. Before we start, knowing how to work with marking and markout points in DaVinci Resolve is required. If you want to learn more about marking and markout points in DaVinci Resolve, watch my video in the card above. Let's say you have this video clip in DaVinci Resolve 17 and you want to loop or repeat only one part or section of it. This is what you need to do. Decide which part of the clip you want to loop. So you scroll through the video clip and you find the part you want to loop. Let's say I want to loop this part where the blue bicycles show up and the horse afterwards. So you place the timeline at the beginning of the part. You do that by click and drag the timeline bar and move it to the beginning of the part. So let's say this will be the beginning of it. And next I hit I on the keyboard to mark the beginning of the part of the clip. Now the marking point has been added. Next place the timeline where this section of the clip needs to end. For me it should be where the blue bicycles are out of the scene somewhere here and then once you place the timeline bar at the end of the part of the video or the section you hit the O key on the keyboard to mark out the ending of the part of the clip. Now as you can see here the mark in and mark out points have been added. Now this is marked out but now if you play this part of the clip it will not stop here once the mark out point has been reached out but it will continue playing. Let's say I play it from here and as you can see the timeline bar continues moving past the mark out point. We want to repeat this part of the clip. To play only the part marked within and out points you need to use this shortcut. The shortcut is alt plus forward slash. And as you were able to see, once I hit alt plus forward slash, the timeline bar moved to the beginning of the part of the clip and played once and then moved back where the original position was. But hitting the alt plus forward slash will automatically place the time at the marking point and DaVinci Resolve will play only the section with between marking and out points. But if looping is not activated, then it will play it only once. If you want that part of the video to loop infinitely, you can click this button here, the loop button in the edit page of DaVinci Resolve. So if it becomes red, it means that video clip looping has been activated. If you click one more time, then if the button is gray, it means that the video looping has been deactivated. Let me activate it again. Now the video looping has been activated. To loop or unloop, you can also use the control plus forward slash shortcut. As you can see, the, the loop button color loops between red and gray. Now it is activated. Once the loop button has been activated, if we hit Alt plus forward slash shortcut, the marked part or section of the video will loop infinitely. Let me try that. Hit Alt plus forward slash. Once you have the loop button activated, you saw that the, this section here loops infinitely. To stop the looping, you can click and play outside of the marking and out points in the timeline and the video clip will play normally. After you are done with the loop, you might want to clear the marking and mark out points. You do that by hitting the Alt X shortcut which clears both in and out points immediately. I mentioned many shortcuts. If you're wondering where to find these shortcuts, here is how to more easily remember them. The mark in and mark out points are found in the mark menu of DaVinci Resolve. Here's the mark in and the shortcut and the mark out and the shortcut. And also here is the clear in and out, Alt X shortcut to clear both in and out points. You can also find the loop unloop shortcuts. To find the loop and unloop and play in to out shortcuts, you can use the playback menu of DaVinci Resolve and it is here. Click the playback menu. Here's the loop unloop shortcut and if you go to the play around to submenu, this is the play in to out alt plus forward slash shortcut. And this is a very useful tip in DaVinci Resolve, which I thought is worth sharing. If you like the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you like more DaVinci Resolve tutorials, subscribe to this channel. You can watch the full DaVinci Resolve tutorial playlist by clicking the card above. And with you guys, see you next time. Thank you for watching and bye.